Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Leon from No More Lines. In a video I made in October of 2019, I demonstrated how to automate a VB script using the Windows Task Scheduler. Recently, I had a commenter ask me if it was possible to automate Windows to text-to-speech or dictate the username of the person logged into a computer on login. Here I'm going to show you that it is possible and later on I'm going to show you how to create the script and the task but also how to export the task and import the task onto your computer so I'm going to log into my computer here and I want you to listen in on, on what happens when I do that Welcome, Bukoop and me. Have a wonderful day. In this section, I'm going to show you how to create the VB script to display the username and then also use the text to speech function within Windows to say the username and any accompanying message. So I'm going to click on my script called Welcome Username and then I'm going to go to Edit. And from there, I'm going to walk you through the code. So the first part is that I'm going to create a shell command. So it's going to be set WSH shell. You can call that whatever you want to. But in this case, I'm going to call it WSH shell. Again, it creates a shell command. And then from there, I'm going to set my STR username as WSH shell, which is basically the object I'm, I'm creating and then you're going to type expand environment strings and then from there in parentheses and quotes but also in uh, percentage signs you're going to put in username I'm going to link an example of this in the description box and also as a pinned comment so you don't have to really worry about uh, having to type this out the example that I provide will show you this. Then our next part is going to be the part that shows how to call text to speech. So from there, we're going to do a dim SAPI and message. You can call those whatever you want to. We're going to set SAPI to create object. It's going to be uh, in quotes SAPI dot SP voice. That's basically is going to call the 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 text to speech function again, and then the next part is going to be message. This is the most important part, and this is the part that you can change. So I have it set to welcome username and have a wonderful day. And then the last part or the last line is going to be where I'm going to call that message. So it's going to be SAPI dot speak. And then the variable that it's going to say is the message, which is set here. So when I close out of this and I click on it, and I double click on it. Welcome, welcome Bukoop, Bukoop and me. me. Have, Have a wonderful, a wonderful day. day. It says the message that I programmed. Something else I want to show you is that one great thing about VBS is that it works the same way it does in Excel and that you can comment out lines that you don't want to run but you don't have to go and delete the lines out so if I just want to see the username without it saying it I commented out the text portion and I enable the echo so wscript.echo it displays a message box and in this case the username I can have it show up in a message box instead of it saying it this is important because in some organizations and some usernames it's not going to display the username correctly it's going to make it all a single word for example if your organization uses first initial and then last name as a username you're going to need to use the mid left and right functions as well as the echo in order to make sure that the username displays correctly. Once you do that, you'll be able to test out to see if it sounds right. And then from there, 
you'll be able to use it across the organization. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change it back to where it was. Okay. And then from there, to automate the script, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to test schedule. And we're gonna go to there. And then to automate it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to create task. You can call it whatever you want to. We can call it welcome on login. We're gonna set it as Windows 10, configure for Windows 10. We're gonna make it to where it runs only when user is logged on. I'm gonna press okay and we're gonna make the trigger we're gonna set it to new and then we're gonna set it to at logon make sure it's enabled make sure it says any user I'm gonna press ok and the action is gonna be new and then type in wscript.exe and make sure that the full file path of the script, including .vbs, is right. So it's going to be this full path, the script name, .vbs. But it also has to be in quotes. So the whole thing has to be in quotes. And it's going to go in this add arguments section. And once you do that, you'll basically press OK. Now I'm going to show you one that I already set up already so that way there's no confusion so this one here is what I set up so it says welcome on login again it's set up as run only when user is logged on it's configured for Windows 10 the triggers are at logon at logon of any user the actions are going to be as I said before it's going to be wscript.exe, the full file path, including .vbs in quotes. And I'll show you real quick how it looks. So I just right click on this, this task, go to properties, and then the actions, and then go to edit. It's gonna be wscript.exe, and again, this full path. And a way of knowing that it works is that we're going to take the full path out of quotes. We're going to go to our file explorer and we're going to actually go and we're going to open it up in the quick access bar. Welcome Boo Coop and Mamie. Have, Have a wonderful, wonderful day. day. And once you do that, you should hear the script say the username. So that's the confirmation that it works. So. We're going to press OK or cancel. It doesn't matter because this one's already set up already. And then uh, that's it. And then basically, when you log in, it's going to automatically say the username and whatever extra message that, that you add to it. So two more things I want to show you. You can actually import and export scripts. So if somebody wants to uh, put this on multiple computers, you don't have to keep setting up, up the task. You can basically set it up one time and then you can just get somebody to put it on here, on their computer. Also too, th this will make it easier for you to take the example that I'm gonna provide in the description box and the pinned comment to add it to your own computer. So what you do is you're gonna go to the task, you're gonna right click, you're gonna go to export, and you're gonna save it out wherever you wanna put it at. You see I already have it, saved out here as welcome on login you can save it it'll, it'll override it if you don't it, it'll leave it how it is and then from there I can actually go and delete this script oh, I'm sorry that well the script that well the actual task it, it's not the script I, I took the, the task and I deleted it and from there I can go back to my task schedule and as a, a, a local section in parentheses and then from there I'm gonna to go to action and then import task and then from there I'm gonna to go to welcome on login it sets the 
sets up the task as an XML file. So we're going to just click on and press open. And then from there, it's going to show you all the, the um, requirements and all the options. Just go through it again. When you do it on your computer, you will need to uh, take the script name that is going to be in the zip folder. Uh, you're going to have to save it on your, your, your computer somewhere and then you will have to make sure that it works. So again, just make sure that you click, that you copy the entire file path without the quotes and you can go to your file manager and you can open it up and it'll work the same way. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the entire video. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment, whether it be praise or criticism. Have a blessed day. You take care.